Hey guys, and welcome back to another video here with Angel Bee Designs. If you are new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, what we're gonna do today is I am going to show you how to make an infusible ink coffee mug using the infusible ink markers. Okay, this is still a little hot. I did just take it out. Um, but this is, is the coffee mug that I made with infusible ink markers. It is super cute, super simple, super easy, and it is definitely a good alternative to um, sublimation. Like, let's say you're not into sublimation yet. You don't have the means to get into sublimation right now, but you want to offer coffee mugs. The infusible ink markers are definitely a good way. And I did do this with my Cricut Maker. You can do this with a Cricut Maker. The Cricut Maker, well, I have the Cricut Maker 3. So you can do it with 3. You can do it with the regular Maker, the Explorer, and the Explorer Series um, machines as well. Okay, so you can do it with all of them. It doesn't matter which machine you have, but I am going to show, show you how I accomplished this look today with the infusible ink marker. So if you want to learn how to do a coffee mug like this, go ahead and stick around. All right, guys, so I am um, in Cricut Design Space here, and I just want to show you how to create your template um, to make. So I'm going to go over here to new project. And I'm gonna go from start to finish with you guys, okay? So I'm gonna go over to projects over here on the, the left panel. And I'm gonna type up in the search bar, mug design setup. And this is gonna give us a free template that we can use for our coffee mug. So I'm gonna select this first one. And then in this drop down menu, it's gonna give you a bunch of different sizes and shapes that you can use with your coffee mug. Um, I do have the small straight edge 12 ounce, so that's the size I'm going to go ahead and select because that's the size of the mug that I'll be using. And then I'm going to select customize. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, um, this layer right here, it says hide this layer before cutting, so which is this layer here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that because we don't need it. Now the teal part is going to be the... Um, that's the usable space. So that's where you wanna make sure that your design fits at so that um, it'll go on the mug the correct way. Now, once you insert this template onto your canvas, you wanna make sure you don't resize it because it is already the correct size it needs to be for the, sub, the mug size that you selected. So don't resize this, okay? Now I'm gonna go over into images and I'm just gonna find something that I would like to use. I think I wanna use like a, maybe a flower type of design. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna browse for a second. And I do wanna keep in mind, I am using the thick markers. I am not using, um, I'm not using the, the, the fine point markers, I'm using the thicker markers. So I do wanna keep that in mind when I'm looking for a design because something like this is not, it's probably not going to look that good because it is a thicker marker. So I wanna make sure when I choose my image that I'm choosing something that will look okay if a marker drew it. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see. I think I kind of like this one. So let me add this to canvas. And this is a cut file. We will be switching it to um a draw file in one second. So I'm just gonna resize this a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna duplicate it because I do want multiple layers. I want it to go over the whole cup. I'm gonna duplicate it a third time. Hmm. 
Mm, okay. All right, I think I like how that looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the first layer, hold shift, select this, and I'm gonna slice. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. I wanna keep this teal layer because I have to slice the other two layers. This we can delete. And this we're gonna keep. Okay, so I'm gonna slice the second layer, which is going to be this one. So I wanna move it to the top, on top. We're gonna select the flowers and we're gonna select this right here, which is our teal layer. And we're gonna slice that again. Okay, so now we can go ahead and delete that. And then we have, I'm sorry, I deleted the wrong one. Bring that one back. We're gonna delete this one. And then we're gonna move this on top and do the same thing. We're gonna select the, the black flowers, hold shift, the slice result, and we're going to slice again. Okay, so now we can delete the black flowers. We can delete the slice result basic cut. And now we have our three sets of flowers here, which is really just gonna look like one image. Now, these are basic cuts and I wanna switch these to draw, okay? So I'm gonna select and I'm gonna select the pin. And I am using, I wanna make sure, cause this says fine point, okay? The one I'm using is the marker, the one millimeter marker. So I wanna make sure that selected. And then the color I'm using is the wild aster. Okay, same thing. I wanna change this to pin. I'm gonna select this little box here, the swatch. We're gonna switch it from fine point to one millimeter marker. And the color is going to be wild aster. And for the last one, same thing. Select it, change it to pin, select the swatch, change it from fine point to one millimeter marker and the color is wild aster. Now, here is our image. This is what we're gonna have drawn with our marker for us, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of the layers and I'm going to attach them. So now we have this flower is a pen, this flower is a pen, this flower is a pen, and then the outside border is the cut, okay? So now we're gonna go over to make it. I'm gonna cut this on my mat, select continue. And then I'm just going to position it where I know my paper is gonna be. Then I do have to go ahead and check out because this is a purchase file. If you have access, you wouldn't have to do that, but I don't have access. Then I'm gonna select continue. And it's connecting to my Bluetooth, my, um, I'm sorry, my maker. Now, the material that I'm using is laser copy paper, okay? So I'm gonna select, I'm gonna type in laser up in the search bar, and here is laser copy paper. I'm gonna go ahead and select that, press done. All right, I'm gonna get this loaded into my Cricut Maker. I'm gonna get it cut out. And then I'm gonna meet you over my craft table and we are going to press this with our Cricut Mud Press. All right guys, so my design is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the mat now. So I'm gonna take off the excess paper and here's what it looks like. Okay, a quick little tip when removing paper, flip your mat over and peel the mat from the paper and it really helps to not have your paper um, kind of do that weird roll up thing. So you see how my paper is still nice and flat. Um, so if you remove the mat from the paper instead of the paper from the mat, that helps, okay? But here is our design. And I wanna quickly show you the paper that I'm using. Here's 
here is the paper that I'm using. It is, um, it's label copy paper. This is the brand Hammer Mill. I got it from Amazon. I will make sure I link it down below for you. Um, but this is the paper that I'm using. Regular copy paper won't work. You do have to use the labor, I'm sorry, the laser paper. But I'll link that one down below for you. Okay. And then this is my coffee mug. Um, I did also get this coffee mug off of Amazon and I will link it down below for you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and take the label off the bottom of the mug to make sure we don't burn it in our Cricut press. All right. So here's my mug. It's just a plain white sublimation mug. Okay, and then um, let me show you the infusible ink markers. This, these are the infusible ink markers. They're the Cricut brand. I got them from Michaels. I know they're available on Amazon. I will leave these down below as well. But here is what they look like. I used, um, like I said, I used the um, Wild Aster color today, but this is the marker that I used. Okay, I will link everything down below for you. <clears throat> All right, so the way we're going to go ahead and wrap this is super simple. Just go ahead, wrap it right around, and it should fit as long as you pick the correct size when you were picking your, um, the size of your mug. As long as you pick the correct size, it should fit perfectly. Okay, so I am just going to take some heat tape, which again, I did get from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I'm just going to take some heat tape here and go ahead and tape it on my mug. Okay. This is a very, very good alternative if you do not have like sublimation, but you want to be able to do mugs. Um, you can just use the infusible ink markers. The only problem is. Um, I'm not sure if you can do multicolors. That would be, you know, something I, that I could test out for you guys if you guys want me to. But, um, for right now, to my knowledge, it would have to be like one color. But I can definitely check and see if we can do multiple colors on one design. But this is the Cricut Mug Press. I do love it. It's very, very, um, like for me, I don't sell my Cricut mugs or I don't sell my mugs. I don't sell my crafts, period. So when I'm just, it's, it's just me, when I'm just making one for me or maybe two for maybe my friends and family or something like that, I really love this Cricut mug press, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead, place it in the mug press. We're going to go ahead and close it. This is about, I want to say roughly about five minutes. There's some dots up here at the top. And um, when all the dots are lit up, the it beeps. And it lets me know that it is ready. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and let this do this thing. And I will come back when it's done. All right. So our Cricut mug press is beeping now, which is letting us know that it's ready. So I'm just going to go ahead and lift this flap up and pull our mug press out. Now, keep in mind, it is very, very hot. Very, very hot. Okay. I'm just going to turn this off. And move it over to the side here. And then I'm going to set this down on my mouse pad while I go ahead and remove the tape carefully because, again, this Cricut mug press is no joke when it comes to heat. It is very hot. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> it is so cute. All right, and here, this tape is stuck to my finger. All right. And here is our mug. Super, super cute, right? Super cute, super easy, super beginner friendly. And again, if you do not have sublimation this is definitely like a sublimation printer this is definitely a good alternative um to sublimation um if you just don't have the means to get into it right now but you want to try out you know stuff like this because the infusible ink 
adheres to the cup the exact same way that sublimation does. Okay? So, definitely something to try out if you are not into sublimation just yet. But that is all I have for this video, guys. Super simple, super quick and easy. Right to the point. Um, but that's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And follow me on social media. Join my Facebook group. Everything will be linked down below. All of my social media handles as well as the materials and everything like that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time. Bye.